Geodes are hollow rocks that look like a plain old rock on the outside, but on the inside, they are full of beautiful, super pretty crystals. Have you ever seen a geode wedding cake? They were very popular around 2012-ish somewhere around then. Now I'm not a tiered cake kind of gal, so I made my own version of this cake trend. Rather than incorporating geode accents to a tiered wedding cake, I just made a cake that looks like a geode. Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I make cakes that don't look anything like cakes. And I'm gonna show you how I made a geode cake. Here I have some isomalt nibs. To create my geode crystals, I'm melting isomalt which is a sugar substitute. It's commonly used in place of sugar to make sugar-free candies. Here I have a six inch round cake pan and I am filling it with parchment paper. The parchment paper will keep the isomalt from sticking to the pan, so I can just pop it right out. Then I just pour in the melted isomalt. And I just rock it until the entire bottom is covered. I let the isomalt cool down. Then I pull the parchment away from the isomalt. And the other side is foggy and matte. So I place the isomalt down, foggy side up, and I bust out the torch. Do I own a nice little handheld torch? No. I own this beast, which I feel uncomfortable using pretty much every time. Side note, parchment paper can burn and catch fire. So please, if you ever do anything like this, you just wanna take that parchment paper, get it out of there before you start torching. It worked. It totally is less foggy and I didn't burn down the house. It looks so nice. Let's destroy it. To create shards, I just dropped it on the table and it shattered. I really like how some of these pieces have nice pointy sharp edges. And I'm definitely gonna use some of them in the geode cake, but they are a little flat. So I need some crystals with dimension. And the solution is rock candy. Lots of rock candy. Just look how crystal-like these are. Lots of shiny flat sides. This candy is beautiful. Rock candy comes in chunks, so I need to break it up a bit. I'm trying the chisel method with a butter knife. This is not working. This isn't working either. This candy's hard. How about I place it in a Ziploc bag? It didn't work. I wanted it to break, not crush. I just have these like crushed corners now. I refuse to give up. Maybe I can do something with those rock candy sticks. I just give them a little bend, a little twist, and they're breaking off super easily. After all that. All right, so I easily broke the rock candy off of the sticks and it looks gorgeous. They 100% pass for real crystals. Real, real crystals. <laughs> Check out this mug. This is a Sidesurf Cake Studio mug. You can get one too at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. And if you're left-handed, just images on both sides and get your own. Rock candy aside, it's time for cake. A geode is a hollow rock with the crystals on the inside. So now I need to carve this cake into the shape of a hollow rock. I carved the cake into a half sphere and covered it in green buttercream. So now I'll place it in the fridge to firm up. I ventured outdoors and I found a couple rocks that I thought had pretty interesting texture and I'm gonna use those to create a mold. I just mix food safe molding putty, I roll it out and I place it on the rock. Then I let the mold set for about 20 minutes. While we wait, let's roll out some gray modeling chocolate. I didn't mix this chocolate completely because I like the look of the swirls. Those swirls look rock-like, so I'm keeping them. Now I'll peel the mold off of the rock and it's looking good. Now I'll just clean the rock residue off of my mold and then I'll press it right into my chocolate to create the rock texture. Then I ever so gently pick that modeling chocolate up and I place it on my cake. I work the chocolate around my cake and I trim away any excess chocolate. Now I flip the cake over and I carve out the center. I'm creating a crevasse. I'm cutting it into a grid pattern because that makes it easier to pull out the cake chunks. Now I cover the top in modeling chocolate, I trim away the excess, and I blend. I'm shaping the rock a bit with sculpting tools. It has a rough, rocky outside edge and a flat inner layer. I even use some rock candy to add some texture. I like this ripped look of the chocolate that happens when I drag that loop tool across the edge. They come in a few colors, but when I think of a geode, I think of the purple geodes. Dark purple in the center and lighter purple towards the edges. I'm painting the inside before I add the rock candy because I just want to make sure that none of that gray shows through. When I swipe with the paintbrush, you start to see brush strokes. That's not really the look I'm going for. So what I'm doing is I'm going around with a poofy brush and I'm just dabbing. The geode crystals are purple because they are amethyst. This cake goes out to all of you with birthdays in February. Because amethyst is the February birthstone. It's time to add the rock candy. 
Before I place the candies on the cake, I'm brushing food color on one side of each of the pieces and keeping the other side food color free. Then I place the candy onto the cake painted side down. That way the food color doesn't dull the shine of the rock candy outside. But it still looks like a deep purple because the painted back shows through. And I'm working my way from the center out. The rock candy sticks to the chocolate really easily. You just kinda smoosh it in. I'm using a few of those sharp spiky shards of isomalt that I made earlier along the top edge of the cake, kinda like a border. Then I fill in the space between that dark gray edge and the rock candy with some light gray modeling chocolate. I'm trying to sculpt this light gray modeling chocolate nice and flat so that it looks as if this geode was opened with a saw. The transition from the dark gray modeling chocolate and the light gray creates this wavy line that actually looks really neat. Looks like a real geode. The painting is really gonna help make this geode look realistic. I have green and ivory gel food color and white and brown powder food color. There's really no reason why I chose to use gel and powder food color. I just kind of grabbed them off the shelf, uh, but both work really well. So now I will paint the outside of the cake. It's always fun to paint things with a lot of texture because all that food color just kind of seeps into all the creases and it just looks cool. I'm hand painting a jagged line along the outside edge of the cake. Because on a real geode, you can see the layers of rock and they alternate between light and dark colors. I just wiggle the brush while I drag it along the edge. Just wiggle and drag. I added a few white areas too. It's so pretty. And there you have it, a geode cake. I really like this cake. I didn't know how it was gonna turn out being that I don't typically work with isomalts or rock candy, but it really does look like a geode. No clue how cutting this cake is gonna work out since there's all that rock candy in there. So let's give it a try. Aw, that was great. I like that. What an interesting cross section this cake has. <laughs> if you like this cake, please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel right now because I post a brand new cake every week. And I'll see you next week for another cake. I wonder where rock candy places on the Moe's hardness scale. It's gotta be at least a five.